a school system that is world class, it's not going to be in the future, unfortunately. Howard County math support teachers Kelly Healy, Cheryl Akers, and Michelle Glenn say that's because their role in the school system may be eliminated. Students will not have us to advocate for them and teachers won't have us as a resource. It's one of the cuts the school board voted on to balance the 2020 budget. The school system will get over $600 million from the county, 3% more than last year. But it's not close to the amount of funding the superintendent asked for. We're not questioning the needs on that. It's just fiscal reality doesn't allow to support that level. Howard County's budget director, Holly Sun, says if they were to fulfill their budget increase request, there would have had to been serious cuts to other departments or a property tax increase, which they chose not to do. We want to do our best in terms of allocating funding, but at the same time, we want to be mindful of people's uh, tax burden. To overcome the budget shortfall, the school board voted Monday to cut several positions, including all elementary math support teachers. No employees are getting laid off. They'll be surplused and get new jobs within the school system. But these teachers say it's not without a big impact to the students who need the help the most. Teachers role in the classroom is such a, a difficult job because there are so many subject areas that they're responsible for. We had the ability to focus with them on one content area and provide that support so that they then could turn around and give that best instruction to their students. We have an achievement gap in this county and it runs across social economic lines. Anyone can look at our park data or our map data and see that. And so I think we're taking away from our neediest students. The school system did not have a comment about the elimination as they're still moving through the budget process. And according to an online budget document, they needed more money to support enrollment growth, the board's commitments, and address the school system's needs. The final vote to adopt the budget is tomorrow at 4 p.m. and it also includes eliminating 22 elementary reading support teachers, reducing the amount of elementary paraeducators, and a central office spending and hiring freeze.